Hi everyone, Jeff Cote here with BoatingTechTalk.com. So uh, thanks for joining us and uh, we've got a question from Mike. Mike asks, uh, Jeff, um, I'm installing an inverter per your instructions. Thank you for listening. The manual is intimidating if you read it. And we'll use 4 aught anchor battery cable for the DC positive and negative and 4 aught for the chassis ground as well. Okay, so that's probably 4 aught. Uh, it's probably a 3,000 watt inverter, uh, most likely, or a 2,000 watt inverter that is further than you'd like from the batteries. But 4 aught wire is about the size of a thumb in terms of the thickness of the cable. And in the marine world, it's pretty much the largest size cable that we install. Anyway, I reviewed your past posts. Thank you, you're doing your research. Educate, then do, I love it. And by looking at some of the photos, it appears that you use yellow for inverter chassis ground connections. That's right. ABYC indicates green or green yellow for bonding. I suspect this is since 4 aught anchor is not available in green or yellow. Am I right? And is this acceptable to use yellow for uh, the chassis ground? And you're right. Uh, that's exactly the problem. The problem is the code asks us to do something that is just simply not doable. Um, in an ideal world, if I could, I would buy a 4 odd or 2 odd or whatever it is, wire, green with a yellow sort of stripe to meet the code requirements on the chassis. The challenge is that we even here can't purchase that cable. So we buy cables from different manufacturers and Anchor is a really good one and we have other ones as well. Doesn't matter as long as it's marine cabling. And we have yet to be able to find a uh, locally sourced 4 aught or 2 aught wire that is color coded or meets the color code requirements of ABYC for chassis ground. We haven't done it. So what we've done in that situation is we'll actually install the cable that is the chassis ground and instead of running it as green or green with yellow stripe, we're going to run it as yellow. We'll label it, of course, uh, but you do with what you can, right? And so since the wire doesn't exist and not many people are installing chassis ground, so it's not really a high demand. Because remember, most of our boats, sadly, are not going to have a chassis ground connection. And if they do, it's going to be seriously undersized. Why? Because most people don't read the manual. And so good question. I love the fact that you're actually, what's inspiring Mike here is you're actually educating, reading about something and then doing. Honestly, I'm in love. This is great. Good stuff and great question. Thanks for asking. Thank you for watching this PYS video. If you've got further questions, ask them down below or go on our website to fill one of the forms. Also, support to keep this YouTube channel ad-free by donating on PayPal or purchasing some merchandise on our store. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.